Hello everyone, welcome to another tech tip here at 45 Drives, Brad here, and today uh, we're showcasing a new piece of hardware we've been working on. This one's pretty special, they all are, but what's really cool about this one is it's a kind of step out of anything that we've uh, done normally. This is our first enterprise product that is not storage focused. This is the new compute server. So what we're going to talk about today is what is it, what are you going to use it for, why you should care about this, and uh, well, let's get into it. All right, so what is this thing? So let's, let's, let's just go over the cold hard facts. What's in the box here? What's in the box? Um, this is, like I said, our first enterprise server that is not focused around storage. There's just enough storage to power your boot drives to keep them safe. The point of this server is maximizing a lot of CPU cores and a lot of memory into one 1U chassis. So to power all those cores and all that memory, we've standardized this, board, or this, this system on a gigabyte MZ73 LM0 uh, motherboard. It is an AMD platform for the 9004 series of uh, Epic chips. Um, really fast, really dense, really amazing pieces of technology. And it's a dual socket board. You can fit two of them on here and we have 24 slots for memory. Um, when you buy these things from us, you have four options for your memory. You have a 24 core, a 9254 Epic CPU, you have a 32 core, 9334, a 48 core, the 9454, and a 64 core, 9534. Now, that means you can have up to 128 physical cores or 256 threads in this box, and up to about two and a half um, terabytes of uh, DDR5 memory. So this thing packs a punch. It also has 10 gigabit onboard, Two, so, uh, two ports for that, and an expandable network up to from 10, 25, 40, 50, 100, all the way up to 100. You just all the standard networking now. So um, that's what's in the box. All right, so that's the what, but why? Because we're a storage company. We've always done storage, right? ZFS, SAF, S45s, flash boxes, everything. Yeah, exactly. We've always done storage. And we've always climbed and added more options. Now, recently, we've been using Proxmox Forever, but we've been selling and supporting it a lot more. And we've heard everyone ask us, great, you've got the storage box, you got Proxmox. Do you have a nice, dense compute server I could put Proxmox on with? I know I can hyper-converge, but maybe I just want my good storage cluster over there, and I want my Proxmox compute cluster to have as much power and as little of space as possible. Well. So that's why we built this, because we listened to you guys. And that was the natural evolution to go along with the wonderful storage products, the compute products as well. Okay, but what's this thing for? What's the right application for it? Well, the magic answer from all engineers, it depends. No, uh, it, true, it does depend. It's really the main point for us is that it's for a Proxmox cluster. It's for all those things of where you need to do a lot of compute and a lot of heavy lifting. And you need a lot of storage to go with it too, but you don't want to steal resources away from your storage cluster and maybe you want to keep them separated. So what's a great use case for three of these things? Put them in a Proxmox cluster. Get a Ceph cluster to go with it as well and partner the two of them together and replace your VMware setup. Or maybe you have I don't know, some other high intensive compute need that needs to eat from the storage and, and uh, do kinds of analysis. This is a great use case for that. So um, the compute server, anything where you gotta do a lot of thinking or what your computer does, great use case for this. So the compute server, how do you get this thing? Well, 45drives.com, come on in, check it out. If you have any questions, anything at all, call us, text us, no, I'm just kidding. But seriously, reach out. Give us a phone call, send us an online message. Uh, we're always watching all the socials. We're eager to hear from you. Um, give us a call. With that, catch you next time.